It's been claimed by some that advertising certain kinds of firearms is a recent phenomenon, and this is somehow causing violence. Let's look at how firearms were marketed and sold three quarters of a century ago. We'll go back to the early 1960s, referred to by some as the good old days. This was the era of Sock Hops, The Andrew Griffith Show, Leave It to Beaver, and The Lucy Show. Prior to 1968, guns were freely sold with little restriction. Gun dealers with brick and mortar shops did not require federal licensing and firearms could be mailed directly to buyers. Many sell sellers choose to sold to uh, their consumers directly via ads. This was common for all firearms accessories as well. Hiram Percy Maxim worked for the Columbia Automobile Company and designed the Columbia Gasoline Carriage. One of his innovations was a Maxim designed muffler. He would later use the idea of an automobile muffler to create a firearm muffler, which he patented in 1909 and then marketed as a silencer. Until restricted by the National Firearm Act, sound suppressors were advertised and could be bought by mail. In many other countries, and particularly in Europe, firearm suppressors were never restricted by law and are often required for hunting and shooting on some ranges. Current issue military rifles could also be marketed and sold freely back then. This ad was for the FAL. And this wasn't limited to just so-called regular rifles either. This ad is for the Solothorn S18100, which is a 20 millimeter anti-tank rifle. If you look at the bottom, the mail-in ad coupon also offers a layaway plan. And none of this was limited to just gun magazines. This is a page from a 1962 edition of the Sears catalog. In addition to the Mauser bolt action rifles on the top, Sears customers could also order an M1 carbine, which would remain in active military service for another decade. Contrary to popular misinformed myths, the AR-15 was also offered for civilian sales before being adopted as the XM-16 by the U.S. military. Armalite sold the rights of their design to Colt, which then marketed the rifle to the public prior to U.S. military use. Colt also pursued law enforcement sales of the AR-15 during the same era. And they also enlisted Maria Fletcher, the then current Miss America, for their marketing campaign. And again, not just limited to gun magazines, Sears also offered the AR-15 in their catalog as well. It was also during this era that high school rifle clubs were at their high water mark. During this era, American public high schools were the largest owners and operators of indoor shooting ranges in the country. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you watching it. Please like and subscribe. We also offer a free weekly newsletter. Uh, the link is down below. Thanks.